In this video tutorial, I want to show you how you can create this Polaroid effect, which I see here on your screen right now. Polaroid was, back in time, it was a camera technique which gives you instantly a photo, but the quality was not that good. It was uh, yeah, greenish, reddish, uh, bluish uh, kind of tint. Then there was a high contrast between the blacks and the whites. Uh, often it, uh, the, the whites are burned out, and the blacks are too deep, and yeah, it was not that good. But it was uh, for the normal user of a camera, it was a cool thing. You click and you have instantly your photo. And this was a really revolutionary system uh, back in time. And to nowadays it's it's like a cult um, so there's some there's some manufacturers out there which are reproducing these cameras uh, at the moment and yeah I bought uh, one of these cameras my daughter two years ago because she want, want wanted that camera really hard so yeah I bought it to her uh, for Christmas and yeah um, She's doing amazing photos with it, but it's a kind of uh, a style which not always all people like. But like I said, it's a cult, and you can rebuild that for a normal photo like this one. This one uh, is a cool photo, but it has a problem. It's blurry, and I can trash it or I can do something amazing with it. And let's do something amazing with it. So at first. We need to, um, yeah, work on the contrast. We have to push the contrast, the colors, and for this, I'm going to duplicate the layer with Alt key down and dragging it up, so I can duplicate the layer. Or you just click with the right mouse key and say duplicate layer. And with the uh, layer selected, we are going to change it to the blend mode to soft light. This brings the colors to yeah, the popping out of the image and the greens are really strong, the contrasts are really strong and the whites are really burned out. And I like it like it is right now. And the next step is we need a little bit of a tint in the image. For that we are going to, um, to add a solid color layer. We're going to this little icon here and click on that and choose solid color. And we need a really dark blue. And yeah, I've done this before, so I know the numbers a little bit. So take the number 070142 and click OK. Now we're going to exclude this color by changing the blend mode to exclusion. Now we have this greenish tone in there. Now, um, we, but yeah, I want a little bit more. And for that, I'm going to levels. I create a level adjustment layer and I'm dragging the left black slider a little bit to the right and this here as well. Just a little bit to give it this washed out effect a little bit. So this is the Polaroid effect. You can stop here or you can do a little bit more on that. We do more. So we add another color layer, a solid color layer to that. And this time I want a light orange. And the number for this is DE 9B82. Now we have this, uh, yeah, it's a orange pinkish color a little bit. So I click OK. And this time I set the blend mode to soft light. Like that. And I lower the opacity to about 75%. So we have a little bit of a reddish tint now in the image. It's not too strong, but not too light. It's like we want it. So 
then we can take this a step further so again another solid color layer and this time we need something like a light pink and this color is FC 9 DAB this is a light um, pinkish color and again we choose soft light as blend mode and this time opacity about 50% or so. So we have now a little bit more this reddish tone in the image. And you can stop here or you can take it to another level again and we can add one more layer of colors. This means another solid colors layer here and again a dark blue like 070044 and this is a really dark blue and we set this again to exclusion so now we have really a strong uh, polaroid look but it's really too washed out so i'm going to lower the opacity to about 40 percent so as you can see it's not strong but it, it, it is there so now um, I'm going to take the original image on the top I copy it on the top by holding down the alt key and drag it on the top so and now I'm changing the blend mode to soft light again and it's, this is because I want back the contrast, the colors, and, and so on. It has to be much stronger. But this is way too strong, so I'm going to lower that to about 30%. So, as you can see, we have back the contrast. The washed out effect here down on the, on the car is not that strong anymore. It's looking really good. Oh, and last but not least, like I always doing to my images not not always but most of the time it's cool to have a vignette and because this is a really old camera style I like to have a vignette and for that I'm going to merge all layers together by clicking shift control alt and E this brings all layers together to one layer and now I'm using at filters camera raw filter I'm going to effects and here on post cropping, post crop vignetting, I'm going to lower the amount here to uh, about uh, minus 23 and click OK. And now we have done a really cool Polaroid effect, which gives this image a new look and you don't have to trash it. So that's it. That's the Polaroid effect. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, or give me a thumbs up, whatever. Everything helps. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.